been a while, been a minute as some of you say and uh, great to be on here again and uh, excited to be having a look at the <laughs> latest beta from Ecamm, beta 4.1 and um, yeah, I, I kind of found out about this uh, yesterday, had a look at it, saw what was going on and um, hadn't really got a slot for doing a live, but I went, come on, we've got to do this. We need to come and have a look at this. And uh, if you haven't already seen the lives that are out there uh, or some of the videos that are there on YouTube, Ken and Glenn did it as part of their Q&A yesterday. Anna and Fulgens did a fantastic job. Uh, I mean, they're the guys that do all the graphics and everything anyway. So um, yeah, theirs was the live I was keen to see and um, yeah, it was definitely delivered. Um, and Alex Johnson as well, I think, is, 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 he has done another one, I was going to say, I think he's done another one as well. So uh, there's already some great content out there that you can go and have a look at these new features. I just wanted to kind of add to it really and put my own spin on it and think, uh, you know, how would I look at this? And in my usual style, really, I haven't got a lot of this stuff prepared because I thought, well, as I build it, you want to see me doing this really so uh, that's my excuse for it but uh, <laughs> let's just see who's on um laura's thrilled to be here um yeah great to see you laura um corpse on you're going to look forward to this actually uh, as an artist i think you're going to really enjoy some of the features that we've got in here um playing with a few of them as you can see uh, straight away um from portland hey great to see you um anton you notice the thing that, that obviously it brings up people's names on here or it brings your your channel names. It's always challenging going, ah, I know who this is, but I just can't quite remember the name. Hey, Val, great to see you. Yes, um, thanks for the heads up on the update. <laughs> um, yep, uh, Maggie, great to see you. Uh, lovely, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it there, but um, wonderful to see you. So what are we talking about? What, what really is... Uh, have you seen anybody not seen the news really about this latest update? Um, give me a let me know if you haven't seen it. Say no or say yes if you've seen it. Let's just uh, see where people are at. And um, yeah, I just wanted to spend, I don't know, half an hour or so just unpicking really what's going on, what features are in here and how you can apply it. As ever, you know, I talk to people that will say, I didn't know that was a feature. I didn't know I could do that. So, you know, stay with us on this one. We're going to list through these features that are in here. And, you know, hopefully you're going to see ways that you can apply this to yourself and uh, get excited about it as well. Some of them you'll go, no, nah, wouldn't use that. Others I think you'll be really uh, excited about. So we're going to see uh, a lot of people know. Awesome. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, Laura's installing it now. Right, so, and a good point, you know, this is the beta version, and so it isn't the regular version. We always get this one, and it gives us a chance to play around with things. You know, there might be a few little uh, quirks in there, things that need looking at. Usually by the time it gets to us, most of that is done anyway, but you actually will download, so if you head to um, ecamm.com forward slash beta, I believe it is, you can just download the beta of this and it'll sit as a separate app to you. So you've, you're not messing up your main one, but uh, you'll notice that when you close that down and open up the beta version, you will see it looks exactly the same, but you've got all these new features in there. So we're getting a, a preview of it. Uh, who knows how long it'll be before it becomes uh, part of the main version, but you can absolutely use the beta version. There's nothing major that's happened in this that's going to uh, upset or risk a live that you're doing or, you know, if you're sending this out to Zoom or somewhere. So don't worry about that. So absolutely head over, download that uh, beta version. I did put a link in the description as to how to find it if you don't know where that is. Um, and you can play with this. If you're an Ecamm customer, it's totally free for you to uh, download this and play with it. If you're not an Ecamm customer, um, I'm kind of curious why you're here, <laughs> but, but um, you're very welcome. And if you're not already on it, uh, it's exciting time because uh, uh, until, where are we? It's the 19th today, until the end of the month, Ecamm are giving you a 30% discount off of their any of their plans. So it's a one-time discount. So if you buy a year, you'll get 30% off a year. If you sign up for a month, 
you're only going to get 30% off a month. But it's there for this month. Um, we have a link in here. Rachel's probably already on it. Um, AdrianSalisbury.com forward slash ecam is our affiliate link. We would love it if you went through that and signed up. But I'm reckoning most of you are already on. Hey, Honor and Fulgens, if you missed me at the start, giving you a big shout out. I absolutely loved watching your live earlier as you demonstrated all this. And I'm telling everyone, go over it. I'm going to put a link to it in the description. Do go and check that one. They're the absolute masters when it comes to graphics and playing around with these things. Um, so yeah, definitely check that one out. All right, Bill's loving the beta version. Great to see you, Bill. So let me just give a little bit of a summary over this. And um, I did just, it's a little bit clunky, but I did just pull this up over the front here. So these are the features really that it's got. And we're going to run through these pretty much one at a time. But uh, so we're adding shape overlays, we can rotate things, we can put borders on. But let me just say really that everything is around overlays. So we're not adding anything to do with the cameras or the, the, the way we're streaming out to different places. It's really concentrated in here on overlays and I love it, it's fantastic. So we're gonna jump in and we're gonna have a look through these. Um, great, Tatiana's already watched the other ones, uh, brilliant. Um, yep, awesome, using the comic one right now. Um, we'll have a look at that. So where do we jump in? The first thing that you'll see that we've got on here, and uh, if I, I'll do a bit of a live demo as well down here. It feels, I feel a bit rusty at this. It's been a while since I've been doing these. Um, so I'm gonna just zoom in down here and right down here on your overlays, there is a new option and it is this little rectangle. And um, we're gonna click on that and it's going to bring us in a rectangle. Now, we're having on this one, um, let me pull that off. Sorry, I'm distracting myself seeing all those notes up there. Um, so we get on here and overlay and mine has just picked up because this was the last one that I did. Uh, I'm going to come in a little bit closer up here so you can see what's happening. So it's brought in a box overlay. And if I change this around, first of all, to a color, just so you can really see what we're doing, it really has just brought this in as a box. And you can change around your uh, the edges, the radius on these edges. We can just pull this and change it. Now, some of you are thinking, why do I want to bring a box in? Well, it's the kind of thing that we've played with, um, and again, very much inspired by Honor and Fulgens, that, you know, when we want to put maybe a color wash over the front of this, so normally on an intro, I would pull something across like this, and um, I can now do this and change, let's see, my opacity down. So we could do something like this, and it allows me to put this in as an overlay instead of me needing to, it, previously we used to do a, a text box and then have to blank out or put the opacity of the text right down. Well, it's allowing us to do this in here now. And so that's a, a, a big plus straight off. I'll tell you what I'm gonna show you as well. Something that I've just been um, finding out as I'm playing around with this is, I think it's nice that when you're up here, and you click on this pencil symbol, it's all the details that you're looking at and changing are a bit in the way there. So what I found is if you come down here and you, so I'm, I find it where this is in your scenes, uh, in your overlays tab, and here's my rectangle. And when I click on the little settings down here, I've got this off to the side and it's not in the way of my screen or it wouldn't be if I'd got this set. And um, let's just pull this up a bit, let me come off. It's not wanting to let me change the, come on. Or is it as small as it goes? It's because I've zoomed in, of course it is. Right, so I can change the color of this around. Um, that's coming in down here. So I can select any colors as I would before. And as you're seeing here, I can adjust this opacity. So there are lots of times uh, where you might want to bring this in. Maybe you want to have some bullet points that come down here and you wanted to have just a text background for it or a, a colored background for it. So instead of selecting a background for the text, which is quite limited as to where it will sit, to be able to do things like this, you can do this with your backgrounds now. Um, so this is, it's not new in a sense that we've been able to 
hack it and work around this by being able to um, use a text box, but this is so much nicer and it makes so much more sense for us to actually be able to have a box to play with to start with. And I should just point out that it isn't just boxes, we can also do circles um, and we can do um, squircles as well. So your, uh, your circles that have these strange edges to them. Um, okay, so we can do all those and um, that, that's firstly the, the, you know, the main thing coming in here and probably one of the biggest features really um, to be able to do this. So no more text overlays and removing the text. And um, so I'm saying, you know, countdown overlays, um, background for bullet points. Um, well, the other thing we can do with this, another great feature of it is, I mean, I'm sort of concentrating on going full screen on these really. The One of the other things that you can do, and I can definitely see times when this would be useful, is instead of having color on there, and let me just take this back to my rectangle for a second. Um, notice we've got all of these options on here for what we can do with it. So we've got color, a gradient, we can actually do a blur. And I've got a slider on here to adjust how much blur goes on that. I can, hang on a second, I thought that wasn't, let's push that opacity back up. So there might be a time where there's something on your screen. Maybe there's something sensitive on that photo back there, that plaque back there. Maybe it's a family photo and I don't want to share it. I could actually just blur that out back there. There might be that when you're sharing your screen, and um, let me just come out a live demo for a sec. It might be that as you're sharing your screen and you want to be able to, um, maybe you've got your emails or something. As long as you've got it, set up in advance, you could just drop this over the top of it and it would blur. Uh, the other thing you can do with it, the other option instead of blur is uh, pixelate. Again, another time when you might want to be able to do that. Um, let me knock that back a bit. If I Maybe if I pull that over my face, you can see there the same sort of thing. So again, might be that you genuinely don't want to show, maybe it's your child or somebody or you haven't got permission for something and you want to be able to just uh, add that pixelating effect on there. All right, so you're seeing there's lots of options. I'd love to hear from you what you think you could do with this really. You know, it's way more than just this box. Um, so yeah, we can do, and notice as well, sorry, there's gradients on here. So this box now can have a, a total gradient on it. Really nice effect. Um, I know we were looking at this when we were having a go at doing the, um, we were setting up, uh, when Laura came on actually, uh, who's been on the news a lot, uh, uh, and um, we were trying to create Sky News that has this sort of banner along the bottom here, and we couldn't do, they have this gradient on theirs, uh, just like a silver one, and we couldn't recreate this thing, but now with this, we absolutely could do. so. When I come back into here and to my settings again, the gradient, I simply just choose uh, what I want that to be. I've got color one, color two, and then I can even adjust whether I want the gradient coming from the side or from above. Um, how mad is that? The radius again, I can pull that back. I can put a border on this. Um, now, I will show you this. I'm gonna be slightly off for a change. I'm gonna be slightly, <laughs> off my list really, but let's just, uh, while we're here and I've got this in front of me. So we've put this uh, little pill on here, if you like, this overlay, and we've put a border around it. And what we can do with this is, with the border itself as well, we can choose to have a gradient. So I can come onto this and it's saying, you know, what do I want that gradient to be? So again, I could go, sort of white to red, or maybe I just go um, a more subtle than that. Instead of that red there, let's um, just come slightly off. So it's just a bit of a change there, and you can see that that is a gradient going from the light to the dark. Again, we can adjust how it works. And there's even now this feature called motion. And notice that that, I'll make that a bit more obvious if I change that to, let's go with that gray maybe. Notice how that is running around. Let me come out of live demo again. So I've now put this overlay on this, or I've put this border around this overlay, 
that is actually chasing around. It's it, it's moving. There's motion on there, and it isn't just in these box overlays that it does it in. You can do this in all of the overlays now. One of the great features about this update is that what we're talking about on this overlay applies to all the other overlays as well. Um, now I am. Let me come back on track a minute. I must try and keep to my notes a little bit. Um, so what you can do again with this is, I keep jumping in and out of live demo. If I go no fill, which you might think, well, why would I want to have a box with no fill? I'm going to take my controls off of that. You could actually create some sort of frame on here like this. And um, so we've now got a box with nothing inside it but it's just given us a very flexible way of putting a, a frame around this. Um, I like that. I think that would be a great feature. You could even, you know, let's go right to the edges of this. If I take this radius off and we could maybe increase the size of the border and see what happens here. I could take this right up into the corners. Um, so again, for some of you, you know, maybe when you're either on your live or you're sending this out to Zoom, um, that's pretty cool actually to have some branding like that. It's just got a bit of motion in it that's working away all the time you're on. So we haven't had to, I guess as well, you could have done this starting with a blank scene, bringing in a video overlay, do the same thing to that. But I think that's quite slick that um, I can just turn that on and on and it just gives me that little bit of um, an overlay there. All right. So there's something else you can do. Um, yes, uh, with very subtle motion. We like that. Uh, notice that I've done it here, actually, in the, the comment, the overlay that I've brought in. So it, this is what I'm getting at and, and getting on to, really, that it isn't just the, the blank box. Any overlays that you've got, this will apply to. So I'm going to turn that one off. Let me bring this. Um, yep, <laughs> I watched that as well, Val. It was excellent, wasn't it? Um, I'm just going to turn off the automatically hide so I can keep this comment on. So while I've got Val's comment in front of me here, let me just show you again. It's exactly the same. I can click on the pencil symbol here or I can come down below and play with it so that it's not in the way of what I'm doing. So I can adjust the text and that allows me to, as before, you know, this is nothing new. You could change the text. You can change the color down here. Um, I don't know whether that's changed to, there we go. So there's that coming in there, but we can also adjust then the background. So it could either be a solid color or I've selected a gradient on here and we've put a border on it and the border is motion. So it could just be a solid color or we could put this motion on and um, yeah, notice that it's, semi-transparent through there. Not bad, eh? I, I think this is, again, it's kind of next level stuff that we're able to play with with this. We can also apply this to any other overlays that we're adding in. So um, let me have a look. We can also rotate, okay? So if I were to bring in a We've just been on vacation. And uh, so oop, here's a nice photo from Rach and I in Cyprus a couple of weeks ago. And I can apply exactly the same things to this. Let me just zoom in a little bit. I don't need all the bottom of the screen there, do we? Um, let me come up a bit. So again, I can pick the image down here and uh, I can uh, put a border on it. I can uh, choose a color for that border. That must be off, my, no it's not. So maybe I wanna pick out a color from this even um, and add that in as a border. I can do all the same things. I could make the border a gradient or what you've just seen me doing works exactly the same. Um, I can adjust, couldn't do this before with images, can adjust that opacity on there. We can actually as well rotate this. So maybe you think it looks nice just offset like this. In fact, let me push it the other side. I really don't like that red. Hang on a second, I need to fix this. Um, that one's not as bad. All right, so I can pop that up there. 
look, so I can adjust that rotation with it. I can, there are all these blend modes as well. And um, if you're used to Photoshop, you'll be familiar with all these. I uh, don't know that I hardly ever used them in Photoshop, even back in my day as a photographer. There weren't many of them that I used to use. But if you're into that and you wanna have a look at these, there's certainly the green screens and things that you can use there. Um, transition as normal, making this thing slide in and out. And look, we can add a shadow to it. So it's not too obvious, but you can see when I put it over there with that wood behind that um, we can put, we can, we can actually change the color of the shadow. We can adjust the amount of blur on there, the angle and the distance it is away. So I really like that. I think that is, you know, this is the sort of stuff that I used to do in um, like a pages document and you'd bring it in and you could put it like that and put a nice little shadow on there. But I reckon if you were bringing in, maybe you're doing a slideshow and you were running through, you could actually be dropping a set of these on and they, you know, laying them all so they're all slightly, one's this way, one's the next way. Um, in fact, let me just show you what I mean. Whoop, there it goes. Uh, maybe I grab one of them and on the second one then I re rotate it the other way. So you could start bringing in a set of photos like this and as you are bringing them in, they're all just coming in different ways around. Um, all right, so rotation. Uh, another way that you might wanna use that rotation would be if maybe you've got text, maybe for instance on here, you know, if we were doing a live and we wanted to put, in fact, let's do it. Uh, we'll just do a little text box on here. And if I say live, um, I'm going to put it in this new font of ours. And I'm going to add it. What I'm doing, I actually heard Anna and Fulgens talking earlier saying how um, they found that it was when you were changing the backgrounds around in the text bit, they were having some issues with it and found that it was easier to bring the text in and then play with the background afterwards. Um, but if I were to bring this in and change this background color, ooh, we don't like that. Border width, let's take these off, corner radius, that's what I'm after. Um, we will put some of that width back in. But maybe I want to have this little thing at the top. See again what I'm saying about that? It's almost getting in the way when, I'm editing it up there. It's easier when I edit it down here and then it's not in the way of that. But again, it might be that you think it would just look, look nice just being able to put it on the side slightly like that. Um, well, now you can, all right? And you will probably think of tons of ways that you could use this. Um, let me just say, I'm just jumping on spotting a couple of things. Never used a beta before, but we'll have some fun with this. Yeah, definitely. Um, when will this be live? So this is live at the minute in the beta version, but it's, yeah, I'm not sure how, typically, you know, once everyone's given okay, that they're not having any problems, then it'll get turned into the main one. Um, all right, so where are we at? Let's have a look. Those were some, another, another thing that I thought worked well with this was, um, so we've got image overlays, we've got text overlays that we can apply all of these to. Literally every um, every overlay you do, you can apply these same things to. And I like that it's there, it's in a consistent panel now that you've got all those options that you can go to and play with. Uh, so that's rotation, adding borders and rounded corners to all overlays. Uh, uh, border motion, we've had a look at that, how that's running around the edges. Um, adds, uh, let me just show you what I'm looking at. I'm just running over these. Um, and actually even in this one, so I've brought in a text overlay and I've actually got just a box underneath it, which is purely blurred rather than anything else. Um, adds an overlay, adds overlay blend mode option. So that's what I was just showing those Photoshop features really. Green screen key options for images, movies, widgets, and overlays. Now, we used to be able to do a green screen with, let me take that down, I don't like that. <laughs> um, we used to be able to do green screen with our cameras, yeah. So if I was bringing in a camera and I've got a screen behind me, I've always been able to hit the green screen uh, a chroma key button and it'll take that background out and I can put an image and things behind me. 
Um, what we haven't been able to do is do it with... So we can now bring in green screen assets. So you could go to Canva and find some green screen overlays, some animations and things, bring those in. And one of the blend modes or options is green screen. Now, I just brought in, if you were here on the intro, you'd have seen me just, hang on, I need to jump back into live demo. You'd have seen me with, Right, it's just changed the source over to camera. Sorry, did that wrong. What I should have done is to drop this video into my overlays over here, and I want to add it as an animated overlay. So here it is. And so now I don't need to go off and edit this anywhere in advance. I've literally just used Ecamm and hit record, um, did a little wave, and all I would do with this is to grab the edges Pull it in a bit. And now let's have a look at this option. So in the blend mode, I can tick green screen and there it goes. And I can set this to play. Not bad. Now what I could do then and what I have done with this is to change this over to um, transition. So fly in from the right. And here it is over here. And so you saw me do this at the start. We, If you've been through my Ecamm Academy, you'll have seen me doing this. Uh, it's a nice little feature, you know, maybe like when you've got that intro going at the start, just to get a, a, a little uh, version of you coming in and waving as you're doing the countdown. I, we had several of those that previously, you know, someone puts a comment up and I do one sort of pointing to it or giving a thumbs up. Uh, but I had to do those. We put them into Photoshop, took the background, uh, final cut, took the background out, brought them in um, as WebM files, where now I can just bring this in as this overlay and um, edit it, each overlay, and put the green screen in that way. I really like that. Um, let me just see. When was I muted? Oh, was that what my ping was about? Um, I just saw someone say muted. That must have been, uh, I'll tell you why I was muted. It was because I brought that video over the top and changed it over. Very sorry about that. Um, Ecamm Academy, Laura. Yeah, I can absolutely tell you. The next one's going to be the 18th of September. Um, we will get notice out in plenty of time for that one. But um, how do you get that movie if you wave in to go away after a few seconds. So Ed, I wasn't, I'm doing it with clicking on the overlay itself. There isn't an option to do a timer to, you know, we've got the animation to come in. It would be lovely to be able to have a feature much like it does on the comment overlays to say, you know, disappear after five seconds. It would be nice to be able to do that with any text overlays, wouldn't it? Maybe that's a, a feature that could come but um, I'm just literally clicking on it to make it appear and make it disappear. And what I've done is then to add it to a button on my stream deck. So when I click on here, it'll come on. When I click it again, it'll disappear. Again, you could do in the stream deck a little uh, multi-action key that could say, make it come on, delay for five seconds, make it go off. Um, can we blur the background without green screen like in Zoom or Skype? Um, no, it, it's not. It, it's only it's needing the green screen. So, um, yeah, it won't it won't do it without having green or blue behind you. To be honest, I really don't like that feature in Zoom. I find it really clunky. And when people sort of start moving, you see little glimpses of the background behind them. Um, yeah, I think if you want that, then use green screen. Yep. Okay. Where are we up to? I reckon we're 
So text, so that's the green screen. So the green screen applies to images, movies, widgets, exactly the same way. So if you've got a photo that's got a green screen background behind it, um, yeah, I guess instead of that being done that way, I could pull that screen up and I could do a little pose of me sitting here like this, and then I could bring that image in, crop the bits out that weren't green, and then apply the same thing, and it would take that out. So yeah, lots of, uh, and again, I'm trying to bring these to you, and I know that you'll go, ah, I've got a great idea for that. Or, you know, And maybe that just jazzes up the way you do your, your lives or your presentations on Zoom. Um, I just want you to see what is available here. I'm actually real. I'd, I'd like to show you in text, and I've just done. So we we a few months back rebranded Pro Video Academy to Impact. So we have a webinar called Lights, Camera, Impact, uh, mastering your on-camera presence, and then the academy itself has been called um, Impact. And we had a, a proper rebrand done, and uh, we employed an agency to do it for us. And they gave us this whole brief down uh, of the text to use, how not to use it, the colors to use. Um, and they've done, you know, for one of the things, for instance, is when they put the text in, there's a 200% tracking between it. So all the, all the letters are slightly pulled out. Now, I'm really pleased to see that in the latest version here, this is an option for us that we can actually adjust this spacing and things on the text. So let me bring you a text overlay. Um, so we come at it exactly the same way as we used to. Text down here. And I'm going to just change this around. So impact. Actually, I'm showing you the wrong one. It's the... Uh, there we go. So this mastering your on-camera presence is in this. I'm sure I just had that. Ugh. Right, um, let's do that. That's not right. Mastering your on-camera presence. So what I'm talking about is this ability here, kerning. Never known of that as a as a thing, but. Um, Look what happens here. I can take this out, and I reckon that 20 on here is about what my 200 was that I was doing before. So I can put this on, and it's now just done. We haven't been able to do this. You know, this is pretty advanced that we that this feature is in here. Um, so I come back into my text, and you can see that I'm adjusting that then at the minute. I've got to select it. Oops, that's only selecting one. So I can adjust that spacing on there. Maybe there's time where you'd want to bring it the other way and actually, you know, do something when you bring in the words together and, and just jazz it up. If we'd got, if I were bringing this down, like this, uh, the other feature we've got here is line height now. So we can adjust this one this way around, make it tighter, spread the thing out. Would be great if this were bullet points and you were coming at it that way. So yeah, really good features that are in here. So I've found that um, where I'd got this before, I have I got it handy to show you the guideline? No. But I can bring in here, my. you will see that this is absolutely as our branding sits now with this wording like this and this spacing. And I can even bring in, if I take that off, so I've put on down here, this is our branding. Um, no need to bring in an image to do this. This is all being done with text inside of here now. So I can choose my text color. I choose the background and uh, it's doing what my branding was doing, but I'm not having to bring in. Um, and I've just grouped those. So I've got the two different lines together. So if I want to move it around, whoop, that didn't work, did it? I need to select the two together first, but if I wanted to move this around, then they will move together. So that's a, if you want to put overlays together in a folder, then that's what it will do. Um, so yeah, I whereas previously I had a logo like this, that's part of my kit and um, we were sticking that up to the side. It's like a nice little tag. 
Um, I can actually do this now in here and because I can ro rotate boxes, I could do exactly the same thing and put that over on the side. All right, um, what else can I show you? What have we not done? Please, um, where have we gone? There it is, 4.1 features. Um, text cutout. Let's have a little play with this one. So what we can do here is, uh, again, let's just bring on some text and let's just say cut out. I can, hang on, let me think. Uh, <laughs> we need to put a background to it, don't we, if we're going to do this. If I were going to put a background on this, again, hang on, I'm not loving how that sits up there. So I'm going to click down here and work with it. We can, as our, we need to put a background to it because if I put blend mode, uh, sorry, it's not blend mode, it's down here. When we're looking on these options, it says cut out text. So when I click on that, it's cut it out, but you're not seeing it because I didn't actually put a background on. So we're going to put a color on there and let's put a red background on and we can make the yeah, sorry, that's not doing that. That's if I, if we'd got text, it would be doing that. Um, and I put a cutout on there, and look what it's done. It's now given me a feature there that allows me to cut out and see through underneath. Um, I think Anna was saying earlier about this that uh, you know maybe you could also stick another image below it, or a, a gradient, or you could have some motion or something working underneath it. Um, again. I'm excited to see what you come up with with this. You can, I did try earlier. Um, hey, Forgeons, this is one, this is a challenge for you. This is something that I'd like to see on here. I like the idea. I was actually just in my dentist earlier. Uh, don't panic, didn't have to have anything done, just a routine checkup. But as I walked out, they'd got this sort of image on the door that was like a frosted one with the, the words cut out on it. And I thought, oh, how can I do that? And I absolutely can do it. And instead of having a color, we could put a blur on there. But, um, and we would need to have some color or something behind it to be able to do that. But um, what I'm struggling with is uh, how do I, I can't make this fill the screen and I've tried kind of adding in some extra lines above and below like we used to do when we when we cut the text out. But um, in order to do the cutout, I can't see any way of stretching this so that actually I think it would look quite cool to have like my impact thing on there cut out with me sitting below it and maybe color behind that. But um, I can't see any option to do that. So uh, challenge if you're still on and watching. Right, um, where are we at? So let's come back. I'm just gonna keep coming through these. So that's the text cutout, uh, line spacing, character spacing, we can do that one. Um, what's this about a rabbit hole? Can't wait to see what you, yeah. Um, love the text cutouts. Yeah, I, and um, Martin, I'm sure we'll be having some great time playing with all this as well. I've just seen in the comments here. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, I was thinking about Fulgens while I was at the dentist. Um, <laughs> I was hoping it would work, but um, maybe you can maybe you can think through a way of doing that so we could have the cutout, but be able to cover the whole screen with it and just cut out some text through it. I'm not sure how that could do, but if anyone can do it, I know you guys can. Um, where are we? So. Cut out, line spacing, uh, overlay drop shadow. We've showed you that one, or I showed you it on the photos. You saw that, how the overlays, and, and any of the overlays, all of these features are in here, drop shadows and things. I do like this one as well. So we are coming away now from the um, overlay features, but we can actually, there is within the profile section now, it shows you recent. So if I just take this off, let's just come back in live demo right at the top here when i go on profiles um, there's a section in here called recent 
So that's quite handy. If you've got a ton of profiles that you're sort of scrolling through trying to find that, maybe in reality you're only jumping between two or three, I think that's just a nice little touch in there that we can do that. Um, dum -da dum recent uh, Mac OS shortcut trigger for you, Lube, Super Chats, YouTube, that's supposed to be. Um, I wasn't quite getting this one. Owen, who's totally on the ball with all this, uh, got exactly what they were talking about. So we can do OS, um, we can do Mac OS shortcuts on here now as triggers. So maybe on those, if you were getting those super chats on there, um, on YouTube, it could actually trigger something like, you know, m maybe we've got a Philips light setup or something and it did a little, it, it made the light come on behind me or, so it can, it can use it now as a trigger. So on the super chats, you can use that to trigger something and make something happen. Maybe an overlay comes on or a little pop-up happens or something like that. So that's pretty cool if you're into YouTube and Super Chats. Um, the last one I've got on the list here says slider controls can now be con controlled with the arrow keys. So where you're seeing on there things like those uh, blend options. Um, where were we? Let's find one. What did I have? Oh, that's an old one. Anyway, we can play with that. Um, so any of these kind of sliders that you've got on here, you can now use the arrow keys and accurately just move one at a time on there. All right, so there we go. So I think that's a, 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 my little summary of these. Um, so heavily around overlays, other than these couple of little bits at the end. Um, Laura's excited to try the cutout. Yeah, I think it looks really cool. It's just, for me, I, I, I kind of want it to fill the window and then be able to do the cutting out rather than sticking to the size as we've got to get the text to be in the right proportion. Um, yeah, wait, to, can't wait to start playing, Anton. Absolutely. And I think, you know, don't get, don't get too lost in this. My fear as ever is, you know, people are going to go, oh, now I've got to take my lives to a whole nother level. Um, and you spend ages doing it. But I think it's important to know what is there and actually for you to be able to go, I, I remember that, yeah, I can do this now. And you're going to notice that you've got all these options with all of your overlays. Every time you bring something up, you're going to have a different menu on here. Even like this with a, a text overlay, you have to click to go back to the text and then the rest of it is all these other features. Um, so... Yeah, um, what haven't I showed you? Um, I did, The only other little thing that I'd got in, well, actually, no, let's have a play with that one. I did have down here like a little presentation, for instance. Maybe you, um, this is a, a PDF document that folk get in the Ecamm Academy. You know, even like this, it might be, I'm trying to think of, you know, I, I think it's lovely to see playing with all the, the sort of the toys in here, but I'm, I'm, I'm going, how do we practically use this? How would I use this on my next presentation? And it might be that this kind of thing really, that with, um, let's zoom in a bit. Um, you know, I'm wanting to, I'm gonna bring this around so that I can see it. Maybe like this even, you know, it feels a bit um, easier for me to be able to put, you know, instead of just dropping a document on like this, I can actually round off the edges to it if I want to, even though the document isn't rounded on the edges. And uh, I do quite like this, just dropping it on the side and dropping a little shadow under there. Maybe that's a bit strong. Um, where do we go? We can pull that opacity back a bit there. You know, um, we could have put a board around it if we wanted to. So you can really jazz up I think what you know what you've been doing before it's it's kind of on steroids now <laughs> you know it works exactly the same look I can kind of click through my pages but it looks more placed um, you know it looks like a little more work's gone into into doing that the other thing I found was like with a video clip. So I'd got a WebM file. I'm zoomed in too much up here. I'd got a, a, a lovely little 
testimonial video. Um, if you haven't seen this, uh, Frank Kern actually did a, well, let me show you it. He played this video. Man, if you want to learn how to use the software program called Ecamm Live, this dude, Adrian Salisbury, is an excellent teacher. All these free tutorials on YouTube. What a nice guy. Great material here. Makes you want to do a better job at teaching stuff. I tell you, thank you, Adrian. <laughs> so, you know, obviously I love that. It's a, it's a cracking little testimonial there that um, Frank Kern has been watching my videos. Um, but again, I can, I can jazz this up and where previously I would have just dropped it on like that and I couldn't do anything with it. You know, maybe by putting a bit of a border around it, um, I would normally probably have put it black there to try to make it look a bit more like a, a phone or something. But um, again, same kind of thing. Let's just pop it to the side. Let's um, add a transition so it flies in from the right. Um, what have I missed? The shadow. Yeah, I, I get, you know, it. Uh, <laughs> it's just up in everything, yeah? Um, let me come out a live demo and just hit that to bring it in and out. Man, if you want to learn how to use the software program called Ecamm Live, this dude. You get the idea. Um, cool, isn't it? Uh, I, you know, big, big thanks to Ken and Glenn. I believe it was Glenn that's done pretty much all of this. Uh, I, I love that they're so responsive, that they're listening to the things that we're asking for, that we're interested in. And uh, I'm sure the likes of uh, Anna and Fulgens have been very much behind this and uh, asking for things. Uh, I know Doc's been asking as well. So yeah, some really cool features are here that I hope you will enjoy and um, go and have some fun with. So uh, again, just as I'm coming into land, really, this is beta, not the main version, but you can access that. I'll put a link to it in the description. It's totally free. If you're already an Ecamm customer, you can join the beta program. Uh, download a version of it. It's it's to totally separate. It's a different app on your computer. You can join the beta Facebook group and uh, keep up to date there. Post if you're finding things. Obviously, the point is you're testing it. If you find stuff that's glitchy, post it into that group over there. Um, but do get involved. Do have a go at it. And uh, I think Rach posted up here just a minute ago. Again, uh, it's a great time to be jumping on if you're not already on Ecamm because uh, there's a 30% discount. All right. Um, I've changed it for not turning it off. Um, make the text margin 100% new. Are you talking about me doing the... Um, I've tried that to set it up to be able to put the background in for cutting out. Um, yeah, I tried it. I can make the cutout with the red background full screen. Okay, Neil. Let me have a look. I'm very excited if you've just it. So if I were to come on, where am I? Where did I put that? Um, all right, this was cut out. All right, so live demo mode. So what you're saying is edit text and you've made, where are you saying? So I went in here to line height and I thought pushing that up uh helped what you're saying is the border width to so making the border the same color what have i done ooh oh there it got to be on all right so color border let's where's the color um okay Yeah, text margin, oh, oh, I think he sussed it. Neil, you star. So that's allowed me to fill that background. So what was that? Text margin. And then we say cut out text. Hey, he's done it. We have a cut out text. See, well done. I knew someone had come up with an answer. Um, Stand down, Fulgens. <laughs> so let's just see if I increase that text font 
size bit is it seems to kick it back when you adjust the text size there it's see how it's kicked it back to a different when I go into edit text um, maybe that's because I've allowed it seems to do away with my cutout whenever I'm touching it and I'm struggling to get that text bigger we'll keep playing anyway that's um uh, thank you Neil um, maybe you can put a little tutorial into the Ecamm. If you've sussed that out and you've got it, why don't you pop a tutorial into the Ecamm community group and tag me? I'd be really appreciating that because I think it would be a great feature to be able to do to have that cut out to either blur and really heavily blur it so you can only see through. Um, I don't know, lots to duck at. So um, good, Jimmy. Glad you enjoyed that. Um, Make the cut out text window. So somebody, there's a few of you sussing it out. Awesome. Can you cut it down? Yeah, absolutely, Jimmy. Good, good shout. I could have done that on Frank's video you're talking about. Um, yeah. So when I let me just bring that back on. And if you want to learn how to use the software program. So yeah, for sure. If um, if I wanted to, I could have cropped in like this. Yeah, and just brought that up. It's probably a good shout, actually. Um, although it's quite nice to see that it's uh, who it is that's doing it. But yeah, I, I, that's a good shout, actually, Jimmy. Thank you. And it all of a sudden becomes a bit bigger there, doesn't it? Nice one. Thank you. Um, da, 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 da. What I didn't actually do, and I should have done, although we're probably going to run out of time now because I do need to run... Um, bringing the comments on in the same way. That would have been quite cool, actually, wouldn't it? Can I really quickly bring in a screen overlay on here? And we're going to say Ecamm. Uh, why can't I see it? Comments. And we need to change the shape to custom. So again, you know, you've you've seen me doing this before, bringing in the, the the comments on screen. We can hit the option key and just crop in a bit on here. Uh, increase that out. Normally, I would be sitting on a separate, starting with a blank, bringing in the video of me, bringing this. But again, um, we can change this up. We can put different things on it, and. Um, Dare I rotate again? Owen's going to be frowning going, it's just tacky, but I like it. Um, <laughs> and again, we can put a little shadow on there. So yeah, again, it's, um, you know, when we're, uh, an eye at the side of me, I'm scrolling here, but it's just made it a bit different, hasn't it? Um, could do exactly the same thing. I could have had a little text box above it that said chat or comments, and we could have lined it up and put it up there. Uh, I'm not because we're actually taking the in-laws out because it was a father-in-law's um, birthday yesterday. So we're taking them out for a meal and uh, I should be in the car in about six minutes. But I did want to get on here. Um, we're working it to fill the entire screen. Yeah, come on. Um, to get larger text, also try masking the top and bottom with a new shape feature. Okay. All right. We'll have a go at that for sure. Nice one. Um, get better results when you crop before you rotate. Interesting. Uh, so yeah, awesome new features. And uh, thank you so much for coming on and joining me. Let me know, uh, you know, certainly if you're watching this back after, let us know in the comments any of these features or if, you know, I'm I'm in the Ecamm community group or if you're in one of my other groups, uh, please do, uh, if you're playing around with this and you come up with something and you think, oh, I want to let Adrian know, just tag me in the group and I'll look out for it and look forward to seeing what you're doing. But uh, yeah, big shout out. Thank you so much to Ken and Glenn. Uh, highly recommend if you haven't already seen it, Honor and Fulgen's review of this. They took it to a whole other level than what I've done today. But um, yeah, thanks so much. Uh, go enjoy this new beta update and I will see you soon. All the best. Bye.